So gentlemen, you've been watching my videos and you can't help but notice my well-dressed suave style. How I'm extra wide, extra large, big, bold, beautiful, and in charge. And you're like, you know what, Big Pretty? I wish I could put it out there like that. I wish I could be that bold and that well-dressed. But I don't even know where to start. I have no good clothes. I don't even know how to pick out clothes. Well, today is your lucky day because today I'm going to give you instructions how you can go out and get your extra large, well-dressed starter kit. Today on Big Pretty Man. Hi. Welcome back to Big Pretty Man, the channel for the extra large man who wants to live his life large and in charge. I'm your host, Timothy Big Pretty Crow. I'm a wardrobe and lifestyle consultant for the extra large man. And today, gentlemen, I'm going to be teaching you how to dress. We're going to get down to some well-dressed clothes. I found that working in the retail uh, big and tall industry that a lot of men really don't know how to dress themselves. I think this is kind of a generational thing, especially for men over 30. You know, the the our, the baby boomer generation, well, being well dressed in the age of Aquarius, other than bell bottoms and, and tie dye, which I'm not really down on, <laughs> was, you know, pretty much the end of it. But, but a lot of men just don't know how to dress. And you throw on top that big men, you know, a lot of times didn't know where to get their clothes, so they end up you know, in jeans and sweatpants, as I've talked about before, they really don't know what to dress and they want to be a well-dressed man. You know, whether it be business casual or, you know, or actual casual, you know, um, actual business dress. Uh, they don't know anything about suits. They don't know anything about sports jackets. Well, I'm here to fix all that. Because today, I'm going to give you a starter kit. How to go out and buy yourself a starter kit with just a few items. And these items, I want to make something very clear first. You know, dressing well can be expensive. And, you know, in fact, it can be quite expensive. However, it doesn't have to break the bank. You know, um, if you, you know, I find it much more important to look good than to be, you know, to be ostentatious, to be trying to promote the, some sort of wealth. So, you know, a lot of these, th these suits and things that people wear are just for that. They're, you know, they're trying to show off brand names. They're trying to show off, you know, look what, look what brand I'm wearing. I really don't care about all that. I care about how you actually look. And you can't, you know, you don't look cheap, but you don't have to look wealthy either. You just need to look good and look good, good in the clothes that you're wearing. So, we usually when I'm talking about clothes, I'm trying to talk from a little bit of a budget type of situation. I understand that everybody can go out and buy a thousand dollar suit or a two thousand dollar suit or uh, five hundred dollar shoes or you know three hundred dollar shirts. Um, and you really don't have to. I mean if you if you have that type of funds go for it. Hey more power to you. But if you don't I'm going to talk from the guy that probably you know from middle middle income. You know maybe who's on a budget. Maybe who has a family. Maybe who has some child support. Who knows in this day and time. But I'm gonna, I talk from that platform. So I'm going to always recommend brands and, and um, services that I think are affordable for most people. So first to start off, we'll talk about suits. Now, you know, first let's define what a suit is. A suit is a, is a jacket and pants made, made from the same material and of the same pattern and or color that is a suit and they come as a package deal now sometimes you can get the 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 um the waistcoat that goes with the suit but actually the suit is just the usually is just the the jacket and the pants now suits suits are actually becoming at one point everybody wore, wore a suit you go back to the 1930s 1940s 1950s you know, most men wore suits. You don't believe me? Watch old episodes, old TV episodes, especially like of the Twilight Zone, which made, was made from the late 50s into the 60s. You'll say everybody wore suits um, or they wore casual dress clothes. You know, um, but today suits, even in the workplace, a full suit is getting more rare, being more and more rare to see. Um, even in you know, a lot of the workplaces are become very casual 
dress, which I personally am not very fond of. But, you know, an even business casual is not becoming, is becoming more and more rare. Um, so to actually see somebody in a suit now is kind of, you know, you don't see it very much. So, you know, the question comes, how many suits do you need? Well, I think that is determined on your lifestyle, and that's determined on your vocation. Um, if you're an, you know, if you're, like, say, let's say a construction worker, and the only time you really need to put on a suit is for a funeral or a wedding or maybe a job interview, well, you probably only really need one, maybe two suits. And... And, there, and, and the suits that I'd recommend having in that situation would be a navy blue suit, maybe something a little bit of a, uh, a pinstripe, or just plain blue, or just plain navy blue. And the second suit would be um, a charcoal suit. Now, see, notice I didn't say black. For you know, in truth, black. I'm like a lot of the other um, gurus out, fashion gurus out there. Black is way overrated. And way overused, um, you know. And you know, the really only time I can see you need to wear black would maybe be at a funeral, um, and even there you can really get away with the the dark blue or the charcoal, as I said, or maybe at a at a wedding, you know, that's not uh, tux and tie, you know, maybe a black suit there. But that's really about it. And in both of those situations, a charcoal suit would be just fine you know or a navy blue navy suit would be just fine and the navy suits probably the best to wear to an interview um, so that's really all you're going to need if you are a, you know are a day laborer you're a blue collar guy you know or even if you work in a profession that you know even a white collar that really doesn't require suits anymore um, so but now, if you're, of course, if you're a lawyer or if you are in a, a seat, you know, if you are in a business situation that kind of demands that you wear a suit or you're in a high ranking position where it's expected for you to wear suits, well, then you probably need at least five, probably more like 10. That way you have a rotation, a two week rotation. Um, but we're going to go right now, like I said, just that you need um, the two suits. That's really going to suit most, most men. Um, for an actual full suit. Um, this, and you may be asking, well, what brand would you recommend for a big man? The one I would recommend, and ones that I think that are just excellent suits and they're very well made for a good price, would be Jack Victor. And you can find Jack Victor at um, DXL. And they are made fit to order. So you have to go in, get properly measured for it, you pick out the, the patterns, and they call it made to measure, which is actually kind of a bespoke and you know the, this they'll make you they'll make you a very nice well fitted tailored suit um you know and they run around for the full suit probably in the area of five hundred dollars i know that sounds like a lot and it is a lot but then a suit a good suit is going to be a lot but the thing is if you get a classic style suit it's probably going to last you a lifetime so and also i know like with places like dxl that a lot of them have have these PayPal, um, um, these PayPal set, uh, set up so that you can pay like an installments, like four installments of a hundred dollars. Yeah, maybe it's something you have to save up for, you know, put some money aside here and there, you know, to get you know at least to the point where you can do that installment plan. But you know, you need at least one good suit for emergencies, <laughs> for occasions. So, but now. Once you have that, and you can, that's something you can work on. I'm much more in, of a sports coat and um, blazer fan, as a lot of men are. Uh, more of the business casual look. And actually, it can even just be your dressy casual look rather than business casual look. Um, the reason I like a blazer or a sport coat, a blazer or a sport coat is something that stands on its own. It's not part of a suit. Um, you know, they come in different colors and different patterns. Um, they, they usually have a little bit of a different cut. And they can be mis they can be matched with different shirts and different pants. 
um, much more easily. They're much more versatile, much more interchangeable. And you know, they also are usually made of a little thicker fabric. Um, suits usually are a very thin fabric, but, suit, but um, sports coats usually a little thicker fabric. They're also more made for um, daily wear. And you have a lot more variety. You have a lot more picks. You can get a lot more outfits out of a couple of sports coats. So as part of my actual um, starter kit, I'm recommending you get sport coats. And this is a start off. And now, now for my starter kit, and I call it my, my quad five. It basically is five shirts, five sport jackets, five waistcoats or vests, and five pair of pants. That should be your, your what you aim for. Because with all of that, you've got hundreds of combinations. You know, um, and, you, you, and like I said, you don't have to buy this all right away. Say, if you are on a really tight budget, you know, maybe buy a shirt a month. Maybe buy a jacket every two months. You know, I know a lot of the stores take advantage of, of some of the deals because a lot of them have rewards packages. You know, if you buy anything in the store, you get certain rewards and bonuses. And those do add up. I know that once I bought a sports jacket um, and I had had enough points that I actually got the, a second one for like $20. Yeah, you can do that. You know, use whatever works. You know, Rob, Peter, pay Paul. Get what you got to get. Um, but yeah, that needs to be the aim is the four or five uh, is the four or fives. Um, because once you have that, you have a pretty good wardrobe, you know, and you can build on it. Ultimately, I would say, you know, you can actually get away with the five sports jackets and the five pants. Shirts, you might want to add another five as you go, you know, but this is your starter kit, the four fives. Now, sports jackets you need to get is actually this one, which is actually a blazer. You need to get the navy blue traditional blazer. The one with the, as you can see, has the, um, the, the traditional gold buttons, both on the front and on the sleeves. This right here, gentlemen, is the little black dress of men's fashion. It goes with just about everything. It is the most versatile thing that you will have in your wardrobe. You can wear this thing to just about any social event, except for like really formal events like that would require a tux or a suit. If it doesn't require a tux or a suit, you can get away with the, with the, with the navy blue blazer and be, and be perfectly in place. You put this thing on, like say, you put on a white dress shirt with a tie, throw, you know, a nice waistcoat, Throw on some navy blue slacks. It almost looks like you have a, have on a suit. You look fat. You look fantastic. You're ready for for the business cocktail party. Um, throw throw on an open neck um, shirt with maybe some pattern, you know, with a blue blazer and maybe some, uh, you know, some olive or um, champagne colored pants. You you know, throw on throw on a uh, Panama hat. You know, you're ready for, for an outdoor spring mixer, you know. Throw this on with some, with some light khaki pants, um, open shirt. Throw you on your Panama and your, you know, that's open at the, and have that shirt open at the collar. You're ready for the yacht party <laughs> with some boater shoes. Don't forget the boater shoes, you know. Or, you know what, throw on a, throw on that tie, throw on a sweater vest, uh, you know, whether like maybe a, navy blue sweater vest or even you know or even something lighter colored you know and you're ready for for the christmas party and you're going to look and you're going to look fabulous this you know except for weddings funerals um or a real formal affair like black tie or white tie you can get away with just this this um um this blazer it will work and you see it a lot it's a, a, a very, it's a fa favor for professors, you know. This thing can be used for kind of uh, business casual or even kind of a casual look. Yeah, dressy casual look. Definitely, this, so this is the first so one you need to what get. What are the other four uh, sports coats uh, that I would recommend? Well, you need to get one, after you get your navy, your navy blue 
um, um, blazer, I'd recommend getting a dark brown um, sports jacket, a dark gray sports jacket, or like a charcoal gray, um, a beige or tan colored sports jacket, and for the fifth, I usually leave as a toss-up, you know, for what you want. You know, maybe you want to get something in a green. Maybe you want to get something, uh, you know, with a little more pattern to it. Um, or maybe something like this, what I've got on. This this is a, a raspberry with a, with a blue check pattern, um, blue check thread. Um, you know, it's, it's really kind of pop. So, you know, maybe, you know, make that, if something catches your eye, grab it. Um, you know, so once you have those five, be sure that... When you get them, you know, find out your size, as I said, have them measure you, and also get them tailored. Your um, jacket sleeve should come to just, I like mine to, to like Frank Sinatra to come just a little above my wrist so that the bottom part of my sleeve would show. Make sure that they measure it with your arm down from not out because when you have your arm out, and you put it down, it goes, so you need that extra length. So make sure they measure from your shoulder down to your wrist. So you need to have, you know, have that um, tailored. And when you button your jacket, you should button it from the first, and it should, you should not have a lot of pull in here. So, you know, if you have to, you sometimes they can take them out a little bit for you in the back. Um, but, you know, make sure you get them sized right. Now, the, uh, Next thing we're going to talk about is getting your shirts, um, and there are five. Sh there are really are four shirts that I think are a must for this um, starter kit. the The first one, of course, would be just your traditional white dress shirt. Um, I would I prefer like either just a solid white, or maybe you want to go for like an eggshell white, a little more dull, uh, dull you know, a little more dull down. Um, I would I recommend getting either tr the traditional collar or maybe a little bit of a spread collar matters on your cho matters on your taste and when you go in and get the get measured for these the, it goes by um, around your neck and the length of your arm that'll give you your your um, shirt your shirt size now so you need the white one and the second one that I think that you need would be the classic baby or light blue um, um, shirt, you know. So this, you know, the, yeah, this shirt, this shirt here, because this is this is a standard. The light, the white, and the light blue. Well, they go just about with. They'll go definitely good with that blue, that blue, uh, uh, that navy blue um, um, blazer. But they go, they go good with a lot of other outfits. They are two standard shirts. Um, the next one I'd recommend is kind of a combo. And that would be a blue and white pinstripe, like this one. Um, and the next one, and bear with me, guys. I know what you, you know, but I don't know if this will show up with the lights, but a pink, a light pink shirt. Now, I know what you're going to say. You know, um, guys, pink, I don't wear pink. Let me tell you something. Originally, pink was a masculine color. You know, it was seen as a, a color of passion and worn by men from through about the 16th through the um, really into the 19th and early 20th century. That's when it started to change over. Actually, men wore pink and women more traditionally wore blue. It got switched around. But I'm telling you, if you get one of these shirts, it goes with so well with so many outfits. It goes so, very well with blue. It goes very well with tan. It goes very well with a lot of things. And it goes good with a charcoal, you know, and it just really makes an outfit pop. I mean, you know, it, it, I actually wear these pink shirts probably, it's one of my standards. I wear it far more than I do the white shirt. Um, so yes, definitely take my word for it, trust me, and get you a light pink shirt. You, you will not be sorry. And of course, the fourth one um, I would recommend would be a pink and white stripe, you know. Um, you know, I th well, you know, kind of the thin, the thin stripe. So. Um, now the the fifth one I'll leave is a toss up. You know, find something once again. Maybe you want to get something in a green, a green stripe, um, forest green or light green, um, or what I really recommend for the fifth one and uh, strongly recommend would be yellow. Get a yellow and white striped. I yellow and blue especially, 
but yellow and black, yellow and blue. Yellow goes with a lot of different colors. It gives it, once again, it makes things very vibrant. You know, uh, it makes a good contrasting color. And also it's a very cheerful color. Um, don't be afraid of bright colors. Not everything has to be dark brown, dark blue. You know, throw a little color, you know, throw a little color into your wardrobe. You know, I, I look like an ice cream cone here with, with, with raspberry topping. <laughs> and it'll look great. Um, so that would be the, your five shirts. Now, last thing I want to say on shirts, other than you know, other than measurements, is there are two types. There are a bunch of different types of cuffs, um, not only collars but cuffs. And the two most common would be the traditional button cuffs, which I'm wearing like now. And then you also have the French cut. Now, the French cut requires that you have um, cufflinks. So that's an extra thing. Now, I personally love cufflinks, and that when you when you wear your jacket, um, like I see, you know, and you get it, uh, uh, the you know the the cufflinks. You can look at some other videos, you'll see I'm usually wearing cufflinks. Um, it just it just gives an extra um, little little snap to your outfit. You know, it adds a little extra um, um, suave taste to it, a little extra style. Um, so I'd really recommend it. And if you, I mean. Cufflinks can run thousands of dollars or two or three dollars, you know. Um, you know, and you get get what you can get. You know, make sure it looks good. Does it look gaudy or cheap? But that's really a, we're going to go over accessories in another video. I promise. You know, I'm going to get to boutonnieres and of course pocket squares. You know, I'm, trust me. I'm going to I'm going to set you up. Just stick with Big Pretty. <laughs> the brands that I would for the shirts and where to get them um, for the extra large man. Well. Once again, I recommend DXL. It's a very good resource. They have, um, the two brands that they have that are really good are the Rochester shirts. They're very well-made shirts. Um, and they also have Gold Series. Um, some of the shirts I showed you were Rochester. Some of those were, were, um, were Gold Series. Um, Rochester's are the more, the better of the shirt of those two. And they run you about, you know, for a Rochester, you're looking at about $80, $70 to $80. Um, 60 for for a gold series. Now it sounds like a lot, but when it comes to shirts, you want good shirts, and if they're classic shirts, they're going to last your life, lifetime. Same thing with the jackets. Um, for the jackets, same thing. I would go with DXL. Um, there are a couple other places, but they're going to have a really good selection, you know. And they can run you, but the, with the jackets, you're looking at 120, you know. Um, and we'll be talking about other ways to. And like I said. Just get you one shirt one month. Save up and get another get a, a jacket the next month. You don't have to grab this all at once. Do it as your budget, you know, goes. And it will grow quicker than you think. Um, that's the way I did it. I started off, I'd like to get a shirt here one month, get a jacket the next month. Also, in a lot of these stores like DXL, they have the um, um, the rewards programs where you build up points. Trust me, they build up. I remember once I got a um, jacket and I had enough um, points, I actually got the next one for like $25. So it does make a difference. So that's what I recommend. Now, when it comes to pants, similar like with shirts, there's four that I think that are a must in your wardrobe, in this starter kit wardrobe, um, with a fifth one that's kind of your choice. Now, the first I would also recommend, just like we started with our jacket, I recommend a pair of, you need a pair of navy um, pants, uh, navy slacks. Uh, should be that way they can kind of go with the with the um, the navy blazer uh, you know they almost look like a suit at that point with that one the next one pair that you really is a must would be a pair of tan or um, a, tan, a tan or beige pair of little khaki color pants like this one this one's a little darker uh, you know but um, you, you need like a tan or, or a beige um, the next one I would recommend would be a charcoal gray or a flat stone gray. You know, that's going to come in very, very handy. And the fourth one I'd recommend would be just a flat black pair of pants, dress pants. Here, black does come in handy when you're wearing blazers. It does, you know, it can, it can work when, you, when you're dressed a certain way on top and then at the bottom you just want to you know, you, you want to kind of draw less attention. It do, black does does work with a lot of outfits, of course. I just don't recommend a full black suit unless you're going to a funeral or going to a Men in Black cosplay event. 
Um, now, as I was saying, the the, the fifth pair, it's kind of a toss up, maybe whatever you want. I would avoid getting white. You don't want white, especially as a big man. Um, you know, white, you know, you. I would go, I think khaki is as close to white as you need to get. That's my opinion. Um, also, let's say there, there are a lot of times, that, you know, pan uh, uh, slacks are of a, of a lighter color, lighter material. You can see through them. You don't want to see underwear lines, all that. So stay away from white. Um, but uh, same thing, you know, when, when if you go into the store, make sure that they get your measurements right across your true waist, not under your belly. Um, you know, and also that they give a, a good measurement to your inseam down to, you know, from, from your crotch down to your, um, uh, to, to your break or your ankle. Same, and also have them measure just a, just a double up from your top of your hip down to, to your ankle on the outside. That way you kind of get from, from waist, waist to, to ground to um, crotch inseam to, the, to ground. Um, I think that that works. Um, as far as the break, I'd recommend getting it. Um, it should come, the, come, there's different types of breaks, and we can go over that at a different time. But I, what I would recommend is it come just over your, to your, uh, where you tie your shoes. I actually prefer mine a little higher so I can show off my socks a little bit. You know, and we're going to go over um, socks and accessories in, in a later video, you know, as I said. So, um, so those are the five pair of pants. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about is one of my favorite topics, and that would be vests. Um, <laughs> if, you know, it's like if you saw my earlier video on how to change your shape with the three items, one of them was, you know, there was suspenders, a belt, and, and waistcoats or vests. And the ones I think that you definitely need, I de th definitely think that you need. Um, but uh, you know, and with these, you you know you want to change it up a little. But you need a you need a check, maybe um, maybe a check or window pane blue, uh, dark blue. This um, goes really well with your um, with, with the with the, the blazer as I talked about earlier. Um, I also say that you need uh, maybe a beige or khaki. Um, and the next one you would probably need would be like a, I would say like a light blue, um, and or or and a, and a brown. So I think if you get these um, these three like this, um, that that's that's pretty good. And the fourth one, I, once again, I'll leave it as I mean the fifth one I'll leave as a toss up. Find something you like, you know, maybe find a tartan um, pattern. Maybe you'll find, you know, there are a lot of vests out there now. One thing, two things I'd recommend on vests. Like I said, well, three things actually. The thing I said before about get it in a, whatever your size is, get it in a long so it does go down past the belt, just past the belt. So it helps cover up the front butt, your front belly, and also cover up the suspenders you may be wearing. The other thing that I, I would rec recommend is get reversible. If you want to save money, and I actually love them, get reversible um, vests, just like, this one here, you see, it's a lovely uh, brown window pane. But if I turn it inside out, and the buttons are also there, now it's like a nice light blue. You know, with the and it has the buttons as you see on on both sides. Now I've you know, so if you get um, five vests that are reversible, you have ten vests. <laughs> uh, so. This, this one here that I have that's the beige, it also turns inside out for white, which also looks good with with a lot of colors. Um, no one like white pants, white vest you can get away with. <laughs> so um, those are the vests that I would highly recommend. The other thing I'd recommend is like where to get them. Once again, DXL is a good source. Um, another one, if you, you know, because sometimes different colors are hard to find. It's hard to find them in green. It's hard to find them in red. Or I wouldn't go for a bright red. You don't want to look like you're a, a valet, <laughs> but maybe with a bourbon red. Um, but there is a company called Hackery, Hackery, and I will put links to them. And they can actually help you design your own 
suit with uh, your own waistcoat to your measurements. And you can get the type of pockets you want, the type of material you want, the type of pattern you want, the type of buttons you want, and I'd highly recommend them. I have made, and they're fairly reasonable. It might be like $100, $115 per waistcoat. It's not bad. So, you know, I would, um, I would highly, I would highly recommend that. So, um, so that's it. That's, that's the kit that I'm uh, put together. You got your five pants, you got your five sports jackets, you got your five shirts, and your five waistcoats. That is a good start of a, a well-dressed man's wardrobe. Uh, be sure to, I will put all the links to the best stores for stores and brands for the shirts and the pants and all of it, it down in, in the description. Um, look, you can look for them there. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to write and let me know. But you know what, when you get this, don't be afraid to experiment. You know, um, most of the what I've, I've offered here are going to match up well. Very little of this is going to contrast. Most of it's going to complement each other. The blue and the pink, the yellow and the, the yellow and the blue, you know, the, the, the browns and the whites, the browns and the yellows, all of these are good combinations. So, you know, if you feel like, oh, I don't know what to, experiment, you know, it's like, does this shirt go, how will this shirt go with this, with this jacket? How will, you know, how those pants go with that? What's gonna work? You know, get in front of the mirror, you know, and start trying them on, different combinations. You've got a couple of hundred combinations here at least. With the with these these four fives, so you know start playing with it, and you know also later on we were going to go over two things. We're going to go over accessories, and I'm going to go over the color wheel. The color wheel scientific, and it will really help you know what colors go with what, what complement, what contrasts, you know what's tissuary. We're going to go into that. Don't think don't don't worry. I'm not going to um, abandon you. So go out and get this kit. Get to start looking um, suave and beautiful and fab. You know, start looking pretty. And if you have any questions for me, please shoot me a line in the comments. You can also reach me on Twitter, on Facebook, or even on Instagram. You know, and be sure, you know, to hit this little King Henry head here <laughs> and, and, and subscribe. I'd love to have you. You know, and until next time, stay pretty. <laughs>